Well, good, e good evening, everyone. I couldn't even get the words out tonight. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Lakeisha McKnight is here. Welcome to Leadership TKO, the night show via podcast. And I'm just glad to be here tonight. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in uh, Chesapeake, Virginia, in the United States. Uh, and again, thank you so much for those of you right now who are tuning in live or who may be listening into the replay uh, from all over the world. Again, just a review. We notice, of course, that there are some of you who are still sticking in there and being connected to this podcast and ultimately this station. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you more about what we mean by station in just a few moments. Uh, but those of you who are in Sweden and France, Norway, Hungary, uh, South Africa, Greece, the Netherlands, United Kingdom, uh, the Virgin Islands, oh my gosh, Barbados, the United States, Pakistan, China, Korea, all of you. I mean, it's been amazing. France, uh, thank you so very much for each and every one of you tuning in uh, and being connected to Leadership TKO. We appreciate it uh, on behalf of all the leaders who are connected to this brand. Now, this brand is indeed housed under a limited liability company entitled the International Leadership Education and Development Company. Uh, this company also has a branch in uh, Nigeria, Africa. It's called iLead a school of empowerment. And so we're happy about, of course, that location that's steadily growing. It, it has its own unique pattern of growth uh, because it has to follow the the way that things are flowing there in that particular country. So uh, we just have to, of course, continue to be of support for those who are over there in Nigeria. Uh, but I can say that, you know, I'm just excited about the growth here in the United States uh, with the brand itself. Uh, the mission of the of the brand, of the company, is to partner with associations, universities or colleges and small businesses, as well as faith based organizations uh, to build winning leaders. That's what we do here uh, with Leadership TKO and ultimately the iLead company. Uh, what I can tell you is this, you know, with the iLead company, when you go to the website, which is leadershiptko.com, what you're going to find is on the menu tab, there is a button that says something about subdivisions. We have several, several subdivisions. Uh, and of course, amongst those subdivisions is Leadership TKO for Women, which is one of the subdivisions that's moving with more momentum uh, than some of the others, which is OK. Uh, and what we're doing with Leadership TKO for Women it actually has sparked a, a campaign, which is the Global Women's Leadership Campaign. Uh, this campaign is being led by myself and five other great women, uh, Takara Steele, Dr. Remy Duye, uh, Cheryl Harris-Sutton, Shalia McDaniel, and Maricela Messner. All of these lovely women uh, have partnered with me to, to really push Leadership TKO for Women forward, as well as launching and, and helping to push the Born to Lead campaign forward. Uh, with this campaign, we're coming together as United Front, uh, declaring that we are women and that we were born to lead. And I encourage you, of course, to visit the website to learn more about this campaign. The website address is www.leadershiptkoforwomen.com. And if you do want to just immediately join the campaign and you know that you're a woman <laughs> and you know that you were born to lead, then join the campaign immediately. I will give you more details inside of the group that you will be directed to. Now, the way you can di get directly connected to the campaign and, of course, to where we're hanging out on Facebook is going to www.borntolead2017.com and the spelling is www.borntolead2017.com all right so that's how you can quickly get connected now the mission is twofold for the campaign ultimately Right. Number one, of course, uniting women so that we can celebrate one another, uh, edify one another to help each other become stronger leaders. And then number two uh, is to also bring awareness to women's issues that are common around the world. Uh, talk about the solutions that exist out there today. And then also maybe to brainstorm and begin to strategically create better solutions or new solutions. So that's what this campaign is really all about. Uh, I know that we had some marches uh, what I say is women's marches that took place at the beginning of this year, uh, which is all great and dandy. But we want to continue this united front every single day. We don't want to just do it in season. 
right? Uh, when you just want to come together and do a march. It has to be something that continues throughout the year uh, to really advocate for women. And here we go. Uh, we're seeking to do this through this campaign. So we encourage you to get on board no matter what country you're listening in from. Uh, you could be in, having a whole nother language, whole different way or culture of doing things. That's fine. But we encourage you to get connected to the campaign to get your country involved. Let us know how things are done in the country in which you reside. Uh, become an ambassador because we have different leaders that are rising up in this campaign to be an ambassador for the campaign, right? To represent the country where you're from. And you can do that. You can represent your country. You can represent Korea. You can represent the Virgin Islands. You can represent Barbados or South Africa. Get involved by simply going to the website, www.born to lead 2017.com. So what are we going to do tonight is something really simple. We're not going to be deep in any way. What we've talked about this week has, has been really talking about the relationships amongst women, women amongst ourselves, uh, being able to have healthy relationships. I know we spoke about um, insecurity and self-esteem. We spoke about that a lot. Um, I know on last night, I, I really was the person that was uh, doing a bit of chatting on the Global Reality Show where I was answering questions about the campaign and not really answering questions because it wasn't a lot of questions asked, uh, but sharing information about the campaign uh, during that particular uh, show episode. So that's what I was doing last night. And hopefully you got an inside scoop about that because we also had the podcast or the station live while I was on the video conference as well. So if you haven't gotten uh, access to that, feel free to do so. That way uh, you can remain aware as to what's going on. Now, I will say this. Um, we will be having some more things taking place. We just finished the convention that occurred in Portsmouth, Virginia last weekend. And what we're planning to do now is to, to actually conduct some forums. And these are going to be virtual forums as well as live in-person forums and seminars here in Virginia. We're going to be, of course, conducting more seminars in other states. Uh, but we, of course, want to form teams OK, we don't want one person to do all the work themselves. So we're, need, we're needing to form teams in other states so that we can really get some things going in other states. All right. So, again, uh, what I am going to do uh, is to share with you some information about what's going to be taking place. So, for example, next Saturday, uh, we're going to give a we're going to give a specific place and time, but we're looking to have a health forum. Uh, here in Virginia. It's more than likely going to be in Chesapeake somewhere. So we're going to be giving more information soon. So if you want more information about the health forum, we're going to talk about women's health issues. We're going to, of course, bi build upon the relationships while we're there. That's one of the best things that we can do to enhance our health uh, is really work on our relationships. And so that's what we're going to be doing during that health forum uh, next Saturday. So details are to come about that. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we're also going to be having a virtual forum where we're going to be talking about business and how, um, you know, about this glass ceiling that sometimes we put on and that we um, and that we, you know, create for ourselves as entrepreneurs. And so, you know, this is something that's really, really huge um, amongst us as women. Sometimes we create that glass ceiling, even though sometimes we feel like we're struggling and there's, and there's no way for us to break through is sometimes because of lack of knowledge and some other factors as well. And so we're going to talk about that in a huge way and what we can do about it uh, during the virtual forum as well. Uh, so what I am going to do uh, is definitely have you to reply. You can reply in the comments area if you want more information about the virtual forum as well as the live in-person forum that's going to be taking place in Virginia on next weekend. And as a matter of fact, we're not just going to have it next weekend, uh, the live forum, but we're going to have it the following weekend as well. So it's going to be on June 10th as well as June 17th. We're going to have two forums. And we're just networking and getting to know other women in the area. We're just really reuniting and bringing other women together. So um, that's what we're seeking to do. Uh, feel free, of course, to leave, you know, some information in the comments area. Let us know that you want more information about those forums. And we'd be more than happy to get that information to you. 
All right. What I am going to do is definitely recognize some great women who are part of the campaign and their business owners and just do an amazing job um, helping out when they can and serving uh, with a grateful heart. So what we're going to do is just recognize them. I did have them to leave their special information. Uh, so what I am going to do is, of course, go back and I am going to look for. OK, I'm going to look for the information. And I believe, of course, it was posted in our special community group for the campaign. So let me go and find that information and share it. OK, so. There were about three women who left their information. The first is Rika Wright. Uh, we definitely want to thank her for her service. She um, is a consultant with a company called Zervita. OK, Zervita. And you feel free to learn more about it. It is a health company where they provide health products. Those of you who are looking to improve your health, uh, simply go to www.zervita.com forward slash Rika Wright. And I want to give you the spelling for that. It's www.zur. V I T A dot com forward slash R I I K A W R I G H T. So again, that's Zervita dot com forward slash Rika with two eyes. Rika Wright. Okay. So we thank you so much, Rika, for being a part of this campaign. The second entrepreneur that has been connected and doing an amazing job is Lynn Demons. Lynn Demon, she's in the financial industry. The uh, name of her company is Financial Solutions by Demons Enterprise. All right. And I definitely want you to learn more about how to get your money right. Yes, you got to get your money right. You got to get your paper right. <laughs> and the website where you can learn more about that is demonsenterprise.com. The spelling is D E M M O N S E T E R P R. I S E dot com demons enterprise dot com. So thank you, Lynn, for your service with the campaign. We also have Janine Harrett Brown. That's my trooper there. She's normally, of course, listening into the podcast. So we thank you so much, Lynn, uh, Lynn and of course, Rika and Janine. But Janine, uh, her company is the diaper cake bear, the diaper cake bear. So Janine's business is called the diaper cake bear. And you can learn more about this. Of course, you know, it has something to do about cakes. <laughs> you can simply go to the website to learn more about the diaper cake bear. It's the diaper cake bear.com. And the spelling is T H E D I A P E R C A K E B e a r dot com the diaper cake bear dot com again thank you so much rika lynn and janine for your valuable service a part of this campaign and those are the three women i want to highlight um, that is doing an amazing job of course in business serving others as well as through this campaign and serving others so uh three great ama amazing leaders thank you so much for all that you're doing all right, so I want to definitely tap back in there. Let me see. Ba, 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 ba. Hold on a second. All right. Yep, and uh, you know it. Uh, Janine is definitely, of course, listening in. Uh, we appreciate that, Janine. I just saw, of course, your comments there. Uh, inside of the podcast uh, platform there. So thank you so very much. And for those who may be listening in and uh, wondering about what I meant by station, I'm going to talk about that and then I'm going to wrap it up and talk about what we're going to focus on for next week. Um, we are now going to begin opening up slots. So you're going to be hearing not just my voice, but you're going to be hearing the voice of others um, within this show. So we are going to be doing a whole lot more okay we're going to be get, doing a whole lot more than just um than just doing this the podcast but we're going to hear be hearing voices from other others who are part of what it is that we have going on uh, we're going to allow them to share how to build leaders okay so they're going to be building leaders amongst you uh, in various industries there are various industries where leadership is needed you have the fashion industry the travel industry you also have 
um, you know, those who are in uh, social media and need to know more about marketing. There's so many, so many different industries out there, but we want to definitely focus in on sub areas. We don't want everyone talking about the same thing. So that's something that's going to be specified on the application for those who are looking to submit an application. There are going to be certain sub topics within leadership that will be made available um, that you'll be able to cater to as it pertains to your niche. So we know that you may be in different industries like travel, but at the same time, we want to make sure you only use travel as an example but that you stay focused upon the topic at hand, which is leadership or the subdivision within leadership. So hopefully that makes sense uh, for those who are listening in and want to take advantage of the opportunity. Uh, So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure, of course, that all of those who express interest in being a co-host, they're going to get the link within the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, that's going to give them a review of what's going to take place and what what the availability looks like. So, for example, there are peak hours where in the United States, there are more people listening in and we have more people from the states, unfortunately, listening into the station. So, of course, those peak hours are going to be given to, you know, it may cost a little bit more of an investment uh, for those who want to get in on those peak hours, because peak hours would be uh, those hours between five and eight o'clock p.m., Um, And then, of course, those morning hours, too, because you'll get those people who are going to work just before they go to work. So, yeah, you know, this is pretty big uh, and it's going to be a big opportunity. Now, those who want to catch the international audience. Yeah, then it really doesn't matter what time uh, you do your show. Right. Because you can catch them at any time. And the best thing about this station, it is it is on demand. So it means that even though there may not be people that may listen in live. Guess what? They still will, will go back and listen to your show, even though it, ain't, it isn't during the time that you're live. So that's the best thing about this opportunity that's going to be made available through Leadership TKO Radio Station. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you who expressed interest. Thank you for those of you who stayed connected to this, uh, this station here. It is growing. It is evolving uh, because we reached so many people and because we're being consistent. I think this is the reason why many of you are connected because we're consistent. Uh, We try to be consistent. I'm not going to say I'm always, (laughs) always consistent. And even when there are moments when we're not, we do recognize and kind of explain where uh, the, the issue came in with the timing, because we always want to make sure we serve you the best way that we can. All right. So next week, what do you have to look forward to next week? Next week, we're going to be talking about more about this glass ceiling deal. Okay, we're going to talk about women and the glass ceiling and maybe how the relationships that sometimes we have amongst one another impacts this quote unquote glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about that on next week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, But be make sure, of course, you go to the website, check out the website for the brand leadership TKO for for women dot com. That's the subdivision that is. And the brand itself, the central website is leadership TKO dot com. All right. Again, if you're not connected to the campaign, go ahead and do that. I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place between the station and the campaign, but I do want you to be connected to the campaign as well. So feel free to go to the website for that and get connected. Uh, which is born to lead 2017.com. All right, everybody have a great and exciting weekend. I'll be back here, of course, on Monday at nine o'clock PM Eastern standard time. But until then, I encourage you to think, speak, and live leadership.